Hello, thank you for joining me. Today's video is a special video to say thank you very much to all of you. I've reached 8,000 subscribers, so I'm really pleased to have reached that milestone. So what I thought I'd do, do this little video today, just to do a little something to celebrate. Now, if you're wondering how would I celebrate getting to 8,000 subscribers, well, what I'm gonna do, I'm here on the Abbey Line. That way's looking towards Watford Junction. That way's looking towards St Albans. I'm gonna to go to the next station and have a cup of tea because a tea room has recently opened in the station building and I thought it would make a nice walk. Now if there's a train coming I could get the train, it's probably not going to cost much because it's um, it's not even a mile, but if, if it's a while till the train comes. Right, now the next train, um, okay, the next train is at 12.52 and it's a bus, so there's no trains today. So. It's not really a problem. I'm just going to walk, not obviously not along the track. There's some really nice walks you can do in this area. I'm just going to take you out of the station. So um, what I think I'll do, I'm probably going to go the more direct route through the houses, and then I'm going to come back um, down through the Verta Valley, is what I'm thinking. So we get to here. We have now left the station. It's quite an interesting uh, when you leave the station. There's not a lot, just a few houses. But this is Howwood. It's not the only railway station called Howwood. There is one in Scotland, but that's about Howwood all in one word. If you look here, perhaps this is something we could do one day. Not today, but look, Abbey Line Trail. And you can actually walk all the way from Watford Junction to St Albans Abbey Railway Station and come back by train. Or if you got tired along the way, what you could do is um, you could break your journey at one of the intermediate stations. So perhaps we'll do that in the future. We could do a Branch Line Britain video. Let's go across the track just because we can. I don't normally hang around on crossings. Even though it says still stops, look, listen, beware of trains, always exercise caution. Because Just because no passenger trains doesn't mean, you know, a tamper or something could come along. I'm not sure what the reason for a replacement bus is, but, you know, there's a chance a train could come along. And then from here, we get a little look at the station. Another thing I've noticed, shut the gate. Uh, see that um, yellow post there? That's a mile post. The line itself is only about six and a half miles. I'm not sure where the miles are measured from. But that's the half miles. Um, some So many and a half miles we are. I'm going to go back across the crossing now and I'm going to walk up to Bricketwood Station. just saw the rail replacement bus go past, or coaches it actually was. We were at Howwood Station, I've just found this road here, that's actually called Howwood, and there's a sign there saying local shops. The next station the other way towards St Albans Abbey is Park Street, and I've noticed, look, this is Park Street Lane. Park Street really is quite a small place. Now I found a look up here, see what's wrong with that sign? It's the double arrows are the wrong way around. Funny enough, on this side there, the right way around. So look, you've got mirror imaged double arrows, right way and wrong way around. I'm gonna continue on down here and beyond those trees over there, that's where I should find Bricket Wood. Just past some signs there, it says welcome to Park Street, which is interesting, because if you're driving in that direction, you get to Howwood Station first. Now, the reason I'm shouting, you can probably hear there's a fair bit of noise, We've made it to the M25. Now that bridge there, that carries the Abbey line over the M25. If the trains are running, it'd be quite a good place to stand and watch the train go over the bridge, but we'll have to do that another day because we're not going to see any trains today. I'm going to continue on that way and I need a cup of tea. So having now walked from Howard Station, I've come over to the other side of the line. I'm about to cross the road. In front of us, there we are, it says Bricketwood Station. Now, the reason why we're coming here in particular is, I shall show you in a second, as soon as we cross the road, the old station building. Have a look at that. It says there, the tea room at Bricketwood Station, and it's open, which is just what we want. In front of us is the nice old station building. It's recently been restored. Last time I came here, quite a few years ago, I just remember it was all boarded up. And just you know an empty building so it's really nice to see they found a new use 
for the station. So we're going to have a quick look at the station first and then we'll go in and we'll have a cup of tea. There's a couple of interesting pictures on the outside I wanted to show you. This line opened in 1858. So there's the original station in 1890. It's a wooden building. There's another picture there, a bit busy there. No, it's single track at that point. A bit like today, really. What's that? Crowds going to the fair in that picture. So lots of people, probably more than we're going to see today. Well, there's no trains today. It'd be interesting to know how many passengers are using the rail replacement bus. So here we are. This is the entrance now to the railway station that trains towards Watford Junction, trains towards St Albans Abbey. Beware of the overhead wires. I wonder if they're switched on. I'm not going to try and find out, but I wonder if they're switched on because no need for them to be really. So yeah, you've got the old style signs way out and tea room, which is where we're going to go in a minute. So when is the next bus? It's the 1347. So this was the station now. In 1913, they put in a passing loop. So two trains were able to pass here. And they keep talking about bringing back a passing loop, but as of yet, that hasn't happened. The problem with this line is, I think it's about every 45 minutes, there's never been a clock face, it's hard to have a clock face timetable with a passing loop. Two trains could pass. Now the most recent idea was to not build a second platform again, so there'd been a footbridge up there and a second platform. If you look, the bridge is certainly wide enough the next two bridges are wide enough for two tracks they were talking about having extending the platform having one really really long platform so a train would effectively wait here and then the other train would come the other way and you'd have the two opposing trains facing each other and then there'd be the loop and the train would then pass around the other train the idea of doing it that way is you don't need two platforms and the bridge you just have one very long platform a place i can think like that i think it's penryn on the of docks branch in Cornwall that has that system so it wouldn't be completely unique but I do hope it happens it was every few years I mean at one point there was talk of closing the railway and replacing it as a guided busway which I think would have been a real shame um it says passengers must not pass this point so probably better not but really I don't see what harm it would do if I did um and technically I'm not a passenger anyway I've noticed you might just be able to see there's a mile post there that yellow that is mile post three and a half so the half mile post we saw at Howwood must have been mile post four and a half so that is Brickett Wood Station for you I'm now going to go and have a cup of tea although before I have the tea and cake I have spotted some more old pictures look at that very busy picture there there's the station looking pretty much the same as it does just the cars are a bit more modern and that's how it looked when it had a passing loop so you can see there's a footbridge that picture must have been taken from that bridge up there that's actually a footbridge as well it's a brick footbridge the next bridge is a road bridge it's funny the other funny thing about the station is most of Brickett Wood is over there but to get to it by road you, or even on foot you've got to come all the way around and into by here they could almost do they never did put a second platform in an entrance out that way. That would be used by a lot of people. Another thing, you know, is a class 20 coming through with a good train. You don't often see class 20s running, apart from on heritage lines, and those first. Diesel era, although there's a class 50 there with the wires. I, I think I remember they did used to occasionally use class 150s under the wires. They used to use um, occasionally class 313s. I've travelled on 321s, the dusty bins, and I've travelled on 319s on the road. Now, when it is a train, it's a class 350. Just also like the um, got the London Northwestern Railway. Also, you have to remember when this line was built, this was the only line to St Albans. St Albans had to wait quite a bit longer uh, to get the middle of the main line. So originally, this would have been sort of the main route into London. So it would have been a lot busier. Anyway, it's time for my tea and cake, I think. <laughs> Oh, here we are in the tea room. I've got my tea and cake. So this is the old station building. I think it's really nice how they have made it into this little tea room. It's quite busy as you can hear, so I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to enjoy my tea and cake. But if you're ever having a trip on the St Albans Abbey line, it's worth you know breaking your journey here, having tea and cake. I mean, enjoyed my visit to the tea room. I'm now walking back to where I started. I'm walking along beside the River Ver and. Um, just up that way, a quarter of a mile up that way, 
is the River Verse confluence with the River Colne. So this water will eventually flow out into the River Thames. The interesting thing about the River Ver is it's spelled V-E-R. So it's got, it's River Ver. So it's got Ver in the word river. Are there any other rivers? Does anyone know? Any other rivers? <laughs> you know, so there'd have to be something like a really short named river in the word river, if you get what I mean. Um, if you can think of any, do comment and tell me. And if they're not too far away, maybe I'll go and make a video up there. This is the River Ver. It um, continues towards St Albans. You may have heard St Albans is also known by its Roman name Verulanium, hence that's where it comes from. There's a bridge here, so I've not been down here before. There's a lot of nice walks here. There's a little interpretation board there about the River Ver. What do this? Let's see. cover that. Ver Ver. River Ver. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm going to follow the footpath over this bridge and then that will take back to where I started. So, once again, thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed. I do really appreciate you subscribing. It really helps the channel. The more subscribers you get, the more, you know, potentially you can get asked to come and make videos at various interesting places. So, it will really help. So, you know, please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. And from a bridge over the River Ver, goodbye.